Well, Coach, uh, I know you guys were coming off your first loss earlier this week. Uh, has it been nice to see your kids bounce back here in the last couple days? Yes, it's always good to get the game in and play and win again after a loss. What? How would you describe this year's Cokeville girls team? Uh, we have a pretty competitive bunch. We've uh, had to deal with a fair amount of injuries. Camille Nate, our conference MVP from last year, just started playing this week. And okay. so she's limited to three minutes a quarter. She gets those in two one and a half minute stretches. And so this is her first week back. Mm -hmm. While she was in an absent, our leading scorer was Riley Tyker, a junior, and now she's out. Oh. And so she's with a stress fracture in her foot, and she's wearing a boot on her foot. And so we've had some ups and downs with injuries. We've had a couple others too. But um, the other girls have responded, and we've done well. And so I'm, I'm pleased with the we probably have never had this much depth before. Okay. And so it makes it for competitive practices to help us improve, and then we can still field a pretty good team. I was going to say, with these injuries, and your team just lost its first game, and so now what do you guys like? I think 11 and 1 on the season if you put together these wins over Saratoga and Encampment. You must be pleased with how they've reacted despite not having some personnel. Well, I'm pleased, but we still should. We still got. We've got some good athletes. Mm -hmm. We need to play a lot better. Mm -hmm. We're, we need to do a lot of good things, but we've got to address things that we need to improve on. Well, uh, Emmy Barnes, I believe, is your leading scorer, along with Riley. Those two averaging in double figures. Have, have you seen them pick their games up in, in terms of trying to replace Camille a little bit? Well, uh, you know, Emmy was one of our leading scorers with Camille last year as a freshman, and so she's kind of continued on where she's uh, – and scored for us. Riley really stepped up her game this year. And uh, so they pretty well took over the scoring for the most part for us and uh, were our leading scorers. But I don't know there's been much change in Emmy. So that's kind of the way she plays. Okay. She says, but she's got to get a lot better defensively for us and rebound wise. <laughs> so it's just about. <laughs> anyway, so we've got things we got to get better at. Yeah, I was going to say, so where do you feel like you have to improve the most to get you ready by the time state rolls around, Coach? We, we've got to become a better rebounding team. Okay. We've got to quit giving up offensive rebounds. And uh, so we play pretty good defense, but then when the shot gives up, we, we don't block out. We don't pursue the ball. Right. Too many times it lands on the floor right in front of us, and we're not pursuing it to go get the basketball. <laughs> That's probably our biggest emphasis right now that we've got to address. Lastly, for me, what do you think of the competition in 1A girls basketball this year and just kind of where, where are some of the other good teams besides yourself since you guys are top ranked in our Wyo Preps poll? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can never overlook Snake River. Uh, Jody does a fantastic job with those girls mm -hmm. and uh, they don't beat themselves. You have got to beat them. And uh, so you we're going to be playing them, and they will. And she adjusts the play to the athletes that she has or doesn't have mm -hmm. to make it competitive all the time. Anybody on the east side? You know, I just don't. I haven't really looked. I don't know. <laughs> I just try to take care of just us and what we've got to do to get better. Well, best luck the rest of the way. Okay, thank you.